bad news that they want to shut or well, they want to alter what's happening at Jimmy's and then uh, we can't really windsurf how we've been windsurfing because we've been driving out onto the beach and uh, launching our gear there. And the council has put a proposal to stop that for overcrowding, which I guess in summer, in holidays, it does get pretty busy, but most of the other time it's just like a few of us launching windsurfers and surf boats and sups and that down there. But they're gonna stop it and uh, then, uh, I don't know how we're gonna access Jimmy's. Come and get some jimmies before it shuts and uh, if you want to say something you can uh, say something to this council that's gonna that thinks it's a good idea to just completely take away access to that beach uh, you can say something to them via this link <laughs> tell council that it's a good windsurfing spot should stay open for windsurfing however they do it maybe they got to build more parking and access down there at that beach there's none in this town none so they take it all away they're taking all the parking and stuff away he actually likes it that the way we're currently accessing it because he can come and have a bit of shelter and get him out of the way and I don't know if they need to stop driving on that beach it's a shame because so many people like to do this vehicle dependent activity on the beach windsurfers windsurfers fishermen activity permit is what should be required <laughs> It's a massive privilege, very lucky to be able to use a four-wheel drive to get to places and carry stuff like equipment, food, shelter. We put shade off the side of the cars. It looks like the council is saying that it wants to combat overcrowding at Jimmy's Beach. understand why they need to combat that overcrowding because everyone wants to do this and I guess everyone can't maybe they can though I don't know what's the solution the big grass area that was the start of the death of Jimmy's where these bollards were the end of the last era of Jimmy's because behind me is where everybody used to park and rig up and stuff but uh, about 13 years ago the council decided to stop that for the health of these trees the trees were suffering from soil compaction, apparently. Jimmy's was a massive windsurfing community. Uh, it held three events a year, annually, big events. Uh, it was top three guys in the world here. Two, three, top in the world, they were all here. And a bunch of people living here that were into windsurfing and that. And then when they stopped that grass rigging area, that was it, everyone left. And uh, now my brother and I, Mob Dog, plus a couple, couple of others that live in town, were able to do it by getting down there on the beach but down, that's what they're going to stop getting down there on the beach so now we can't it's going to be hard to get there so has anyone got ideas that how to get there rickshaw get him get like five ten dogs and uh, pull the rickshaw with my windsurfing gear down on the beach with food and you know, jimmies shut and stopped all the events and sent the community of windsurfers around here packing for other destinations around Australia and we could access the beach down there and that's where last men standing, Mob Dog, Rocky, myself, Rudo, a couple of others up at Window Whopper are still here sailing. But uh, they're gonna they're talking about stopping that access down there. So yeah you're not gonna be able to get down anywhere near here to sail again. Don't let him do that.
Oh. 